Good news is that STI, Straits Times Index, is right now above three-year high. Bad news is that it is still resisted by that 10-year resistance. The question would be, will STI head higher? If it does, then how high can it go? I would be predicting the high price of STI in this video and as well as talking about if you do own STI component stocks, then what can you do to hedge your stocks in case that the resistance of this 10-year is valid? Continue to watch this video because I'm going to discuss about STI in full details. And if you like whatever that I'm presenting, remember to hit the subscribe button. This is STI about 10 years of chart. So first, let's inspect the past three years. Okay, so focus on this place here. So what I've drawn in at about 3,400 here. So this green line is STI resistance for the past three to four years. And this looked like a little bit of like a cup and handle, which is a continuation pattern. All right. So as of two weeks ago, then SDI had already broken out of this continuation cup and handle pattern. All right. However, there are still some obstacles or resistance of STI at the red line, so which I've drawn here. Right, that's about 3550, which is right now the STI level. And lastly, which would be a 2018 high, that's would be 3640 to 50 level. All right, so even though there's some key component changes along the way, but still, uh, roughly, we can see that the banks is about 40 plus to 50 percent of the component stocks. And then the REITs, it's about 15 to 20 percent. And likewise, the property is about similar uh, 10 to 20 percent, right? So I think that component wise, there shouldn't be much difference. All right. But I just wanted to point out that each of the high points that we saw in STI coincide with a overbought in the RSI indicator. Okay, so let's take a look at each of this high point here. RSI can go into overbought and still price doesn't want to come down, but it's an indication on the whether the price point at this moment near to the resistance, whether it, it's overbought or oversold. So this is what the RSI can do to give us an indication here. So when 2015, when STI was near to 3,550, then we saw that the RSI went to the overbought situation at about uh, 70%. Now, the other occasion was around 2018. All right, so STI went to 3,600-ish level, and we saw that the RSI was near and above the 70%. Okay, so the next time when we saw RSI was near to the 70%, our STI wasn't near to any of the previous resistance level. In fact, that it was at 3,200. But when RSI went to the 70 region again, then STI was near to the 3004. And this time around, STI is near to the previous resistance that's here, 3550 level. All right. And the RSI is going nearer and approaching the overbought region. Okay. So this gives us a bit of a clue whether the momentum will still continue or rather if the momentum still continue then the STI is near to the high side we are near not near to the low side right so there's still certain level of a overbought situation here from the technical point of view okay now the other way to look at it is that the whole B17 years data here and the STI was high of 3008 before collapsing Okay, so uh, we also saw that the RSI went into an overbought situation for a standard period of time. Okay, so it might that this time it might happen to go into the overbought situation for a standard period of time, but you know, still that although the momentum is still strong, which I have to agree here, we are very much near to the key resistance. Okay, so there are a few things that I like to do here. Number one is I like to do a bit of a prediction on the possible uh, resistance level of STI based on the technical point of view. So assuming that it is going to respect this equidistance channel, then the prediction would be it might move to this high point here as a key resistance. If price is to break above 3,650, then the prediction of the high of this channel is about 4,150. Hence, I think that if STI is to break this high point here, then there is a chance for it to move to 4,150. 
Let's talk about hedging. Let's say, for example, you think the STI at 3550 is at behind at the resistance, but you own a basket of banks. And yet, you think that potentially the banks might continue to move higher to, say, 4000 for example, and you aren't willing to sell the banks because you want to receive dividends for the banks. Then what do you do then? If you think that STI is going to head down and the banks potentially might suffer a short-term correction, that means price might short-term move down, then you can buy an instrument that allows you to profit when price moves down. Hence, we are today looking at the DLCs to hatch into a possible downward movement. I'm right now at SOTGEN DLCs page. Go to the underlying which you choose STI because this is where we are interested to look at DLCs of the STI and in terms of types because if you want to use it for hedging then you want to choose a daily short. Daily short means that you are looking to profit if the underlying which is STI is to move down. Click search, you'll be able to find a list of daily shots DLCs that's being offered by SOTGEN. Now look for the one with a star, it is likely to be the most sensitive DLCs. For DLCs, sensitivity would mean that for example, this particular DLC needs a 4.8 points in STI to move by one tick. So you want to choose those which are more sensitive because you want STI to move by a little bit and then the DLCs can correspondingly move accordingly. In this video, I cover STI and potentially how high STI might move up if it's to break the resistance. But of course, that at this moment, STI has a strong momentum. However, it is near to resistance and hence I've talked about DLCs and how to use DLC to hatch your portfolio. Alright, I see you the next time.